Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about the most beautiful actresses of the 1970s. I'm going to show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2023. So sit down grab a popcorn relax and enjoy the video. Number 1. Jacqueline Bissett. She is a British actress born on the 13th of September 1944. She began her film career in 1965 and first came to prominence in 1968. With roles in The Detective, Bullet, and The Sweet Ride, for which she received a Golden Globe nomination as Most Promising Newcomer. As of then in 1970. She was 26 years of age. But as of now in 2023. Jacqueline Bissett is currently 79 years of age. Number 2. Linda Carter. She is an American actress, singer, and beauty pageant title holder, born on the 24th of July 1951. She was crowned Miss World USA in 1972, and finished in the top 15 at the Miss World 1972 pageant. As of then in 1977, she was 26 years of age. But as of now in 2023, she is currently 72 years of age. Number 3. Joanna Cameron. She is an American actress and model, born on 20th of September 1948. Perhaps best known for her portrayal of the title role on Isis, a 1970s children's television series, which was later rebroadcast as The Secrets of Isis. As of then in 1970, she was 22 years of age. But unfortunately Joanna Cameron, died on 15th of October 2021. It was announced by Joanna Pang Atkins, who played Cindy Lee on The Secrets of Isis, that Cameron died in Oahu, Hawaii, due to complications from a stroke. Number 4. Catherine Bach. She is an American actress, born on 1 March 1954. She is known for playing Daisy Duke, in the television series, The Dukes of Hazard, and Margot Dutton, in African Skies. In 2012, she joined the cast of the CBS soap opera, The Young and the Restless as Anita Lawson. As of then in 1979, she was 25 years of age. But as of now in 2023, Catherine Bach is currently 69 years of age. Number 5. Pam Greer. She is an American actress, and singer, born on the 26th of May, 1949. She achieved fame for her starring roles in a string of 1970s action. Black exploitation and women in prison films for American International Pictures, and New World Pictures. As of then in 1973, she was 24 years of age. But as of now in 2023, she is currently 74 years of age. Number 6. Olivia Newton-John. She was a British and American singer and actress, born on 26th of September 1948. She was a four-time Grammy Award winner, whose music career included 15 top 10 singles, including five number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100. As of then in 1971, she was 23 years of age. But sadly, Olivia Newton-John died on August 8, 2022. It was reported, that she died of breast cancer, at the age of 73. Number 7. Sigourney Weaver. She is an American actress, born on October 8, 1949. A figure in science fiction and popular culture. She has received various accolades, including a British Academy Film Award, two Golden Globe Awards, and a Grammy Award. As of then in 1979, she was 30 years of age. But as of now in 2023, Sigourney Weaver, is currently 74 years of age. Number 8. Dawn Wells. She was an American actress, born on the 18th of October 1938. She is best known for her role as Marion Summers, on the 1964 sitcom, Gilligan's Island. As of then in 1970, she was 32 years of age. But unfortunately, Dawn Wells died on the 30th of December 2020. She died of causes related to COVID-19, in Los Angeles.
Number 9. Erin Gray. She is an American model, casting agent, and actress, born on 7 January 1950. Her roles include, Colonel Wilma Deering in the science fiction television series, Buck Rogers in the 25th century. As of then in 1979, she was 29 years of age. But as of now in 2023, she is currently 73 years of age. Number 10. Sybil Shepard. She is an American actress, and former model, born on the 18th of February 1950. Her film debut, and breakthrough role came as J.C. Farrow, in Peter Bogdanovich's coming-of-age drama, The Last Picture Show, 1971, alongside Jeff Bridges. As of then in 1978, she was 28 years of age. But as of now in 2023, she is currently 73 years of age. Number 11. Jane Seymour. She is an English actress, born on 15 February 1951. After making her screen debut as an uncredited extra in the 1969 musical comedy, Oh! What a Lovely War, Seymour transitioned to leading roles in film and television, including a leading role in the 1972 television series, The Wonden Line. As of then in 1979, she was 28 years of age. But as of now in 2023, Jane Seymour, is currently 72 years of age. Number 12. Diane Keaton. She is an American actress, born on 5 January 1946. She has received various accolades throughout her career spanning over five decades, including an Academy Award, a British Academy Film Award, and two Golden Globe Awards, in addition to nominations for a Tony Award, and two Emmy Awards. As of then in 1977, she was 31 years of age. But as of now in 2023, she is currently 77 years of age. Number 13. Talia Shire. She is an American actress, born on 25th of April 1946. She played roles as Connie Corleone in the Godfather films, and Adrian Balboa in the Rocky series. For her work in The Godfather, and Rocky, Shire was nominated for Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actress, and Best Actress. As of then in 1975, she was 29 years of age. But as of now in 2023, Talia Shire, is currently 77 years of age. Number 14. Raquel Welch. She is an American actress, and model, born on 5th of September 1940. She won attention for her role in Fantastic Voyage, 1966, after which she won a contract with 20th Century Fox. They lent her contract to the British Studio Hammer Film Productions, for whom she made the 1966 film, One Million Years BC. As of then in 1970, she was 30 years of age. But unfortunately, she died on 15 February 2023. Her death certificate lists, cardiac arrest, as the immediate cause of her death, though it also notes that Welch was suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Number 15. Farrah Fawcett. She was an American actress, born on 2 February 1947. She is a four-time Primetime Emmy Award nominee, and six-time Golden Globe Award nominee, Fawcett rose to international fame, when she played a starring role in the first season of the television series, Charlie's Angels. As of then in 1970, she was 23 years of age. But sadly, Farrah Fawcett died on 25 June 2009. She passed away from anal cancer. Originally she was diagnosed with the disease in 2006, and was declared cancer-free the following year. However, the cancer returned a few months later and had metastasized to her liver. She died at the age of 62. Okay guys. Thank you so much for watching my content. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and share the video.